Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel. I just want to take a minute and welcome all my new subscribers. I'll give you a, just a really quick recap. My life is really chaotic. I'm an activity director and events coordinator for a skilled nursing facility in Southwest Missouri, Medical Lodges and Show, and I love every minute of it. That being said, my life is chaotic and while I'm planning an Easter egg hunt, I'm usually looking so far ahead that I'm working on a harvest festival at the same time. And so my last video was a DIY adult size Barbie box. And so I have already started my Hello Thankfus. I've called that for a couple of years. And my girl Tanya was in Branson this weekend and she was like, you're not going to believe what I've seen. I've seen Hello Thankfus t-shirts in Branson. Somebody has actually caught on to what you've been saying for the past couple of years. And they put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> Anyway, Hello Thankmas for me starts in September, but I start working on it usually in March. And so it's just an absolute chaotic time for me. But I start working on it in March, and it seems like I have a little bit of a lull in January, and then I just jump right on into it. And so, therefore, the name of my channel is Crafts, Laughs, and Chaos, and the chaos part starts right there and so I never know what season it is quite frankly because I am usually just all jumbled up but it is hot it is really hot in southwest Missouri right now and even though I have been looking ahead and I have been interested and I've been working on Christmas trees and Christmas floats and fall things and and planning and doing all of these things I am still it is still summer and so I am still doing some um, different crafts for the summertime. So come craft with me. Let me show you what I put together. All you're going to need for this project is a palette from the Dollar Tree and then some jumbo craft sticks. My Dollar Tree was out so I picked these up at Walmart and then I used some wood hot glue sticks. You could get by probably with some regular hot glue sticks but I wanted some extra stability and then miter shears. I bought mine on Timu but Amazon sells them as well. I cut my jumbo sticks at a 45 degree angle and I once I got the size that I wanted then I cut four. I just used the first craft stick that I had cut and then measured the other three sticks against that one to make sure that all of them were the same length and then I just eyeballed this you could use a level but I just kind of eyeballed it and I formed a crisscross pattern and then I just made it sure that it was kind of flush against the table surface that I was working on and made sure it was leveled that way and it was going to be kind of level uh, on the surface that I was working on. If that makes any sense, it probably would have been a lot better if I had gotten a level out and did it that way. But once I got a level and in the place that I wanted to, I put a dab of hot glue on the inside of my table legs and then I put it on the outside of the edge of the palette and that was going to be the legs of my picnic table. I did the exact same thing on the other side. I made sure that it was evenly spaced and then I put a dab of hot glue in the middle to form an X and then I made sure that it was sitting level on the surface that I was working on and I made sure that my little 45 degree angles were going in the right direction and then I just put the hot glue on the inside of my little craft jumbo craft sticks and then I just put them on the outside of the palette. When I seen these palettes I thought they were absolutely adorable and I thought they looked like a picnic table and I thought that they would make a cute riser for a summertime display and I thought that I could pull this off and I didn't think that it would be all that complicated and so I just I had to go home and try it and 
I wanted to do it before the idea just completely left me. Sometimes my crafting is a little bit helter skelter and in hindsight I do wish that I had gotten my level out and put it up on top of the table and I probably would have had a little bit better peace of mind. But my table is level and so I guess the way that I did it was perfectly fine. And I did pull a picture up on Google and of a picnic table that they sell at Lowe's and so I kind of used that and referred back to that to make sure that all of my pieces were exact in the right place and so then i just took my miter shears and i cut um, two pieces and i used the first piece to measure where i needed the second piece to go and it looks like i'm struggling here and i'm really not i'm just trying to cut the pieces carefully so that I don't ruin the craft sticks because they are a little bit delicate when you do cut them. And then I just put a little bit of hot glue on there to make the cross piece, the support piece for the table. Once I had the support pieces in place, then I cut just a little bit longer, just barely where it starts to curve on the stick. And then I put a little dab of the hot glue on each side and that is going to make the benches for this picnic table it actually was the cutest but most it went together so fast and i don't know why i have not thought to do this before but once it was together i absolutely loved it i just barely cut the tip off of this craft stick and then i just did the other side exactly the same and once it was done it was just absolutely adorable i just fell in love with it this is what it looks like on the underneath side and i tried to recreate a picnic table just exactly what it would look like if it was sitting out in someone's backyard and i thought it turned out absolutely adorable i love the look of it and those pallets are an absolute buy for $1.25. You could actually put something more substantial on it than what I have. I just have it in with my patriotic summer display and it looks absolutely adorable. I am in love with it. I don't know why I haven't done this before and I am so glad that the inspiration hit me and it is absolutely adorable and Go to the Dollar Tree and grab a pallet and make yourself a picnic table. It is so cute. I hope that you enjoyed my cute little picnic table. I thought it came out cute. And I was walking to the Dollar Tree and I seen this and I thought, oh, that would just absolutely be adorable. And I just had to, I had to go home and make it because, I mean, once the inspiration strikes, you just have to do it, right? I mean, is that just weird? I don't know. I, maybe I'm just weird, but I just had to go home and do it. And I had to go home and try it because I don't know. Sometimes the ideas just leave and then they go away and you never quite get them back. Maybe that's just me. But anyway, if you like Dollar Tree crafts, you're going to see a lot of that on this channel because I craft for work and for home on a budget. And I'm absolutely in love with the Dollar Tree. It is my favorite store and I spend a lot of time there. I go there and I do a little Dollar Tree tour in my area every week to see what kind of new and fabulous things that they have to offer in every store because they don't stock them all the same and everything is new and different in every store so don't forget to subscribe hit that bell so that you know when I've uploaded my next video give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching Crafts Lost and Chaos